Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Standards here, and before the meta kind of settles in, I'm gonna try to be cute and do some meme things. That's right, I wanna try to mill. Why do I wanna mill now? Really, because there's a few payoffs uh, and there's a few enablers that I just wanna play because they seem fun. Uh, if you remember Disinformation Campaign, well, that's what I'm hoping Invasion of Amonkhet is. Except for Invasion of Amonkhet also mills our opponent make some discard one. It mills ourselves too, so we do have Tarissian Mindbreaker in the deck. We've also got Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree to mill our opponent and hit our lands along the way. Of course, we got Jace Perfected Mind, and one of the payoffs is C Double, as if the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, you may choose both modes on this card. This deck is gonna be pretty bad, definitely not worth spending your wild cards on, but is it going to be fun? Maybe, let's find out. Let's try it. If they're aggro, we're in so much trouble. We are seriously in so much trouble if they have aggression whatsoever. All right, so they've their deck shows that they at least have black mana. So I can play Founding the Third Path, hope to like steal from the top of their deck. Dread Fugue. They're probably gonna take my Founding the Third Path here. <laughs> Oops. It's that or randomly take Go for the Throat or Siphon Insight. All right, sweet. Founding the third path. I'll wait to see if they play anything next turn. If they don't play anything, then then whatever. I don't really have to worry too much. Tenacious corn dog. Yeah, you got it, buddy. I'm actually gonna just let that live as I think about it because I'm gonna play Jace. I'm gonna minus. Then I'm just gonna plus. Or I'm gonna I'm not gonna minus. I mean uh, I'm gonna reduce the loyalty off of Jace. Blank the tenacious corn dog. Assume that they're gonna play Shealdred. Okay. No Shealdred. But they do have a Tenacious corn dog again. They're probably getting Graveyard Trespasser, right? That makes the most sense here. Okay. Drew a land. That feels pretty darn good. Oh, we are not going to cycle the land we just drew. That'd feel pretty darn bad. Yeah, I guess I'll just pass, right? Like, I'm hoping that they don't have an Invoke Despair in hand, but they probably do. Trespasser, you got it. Go for it. They're taking my Siphon Insight. All right, let's go ahead and just use it. Yeah, I guess I'll take a Cruelty of Gix. That's not bad. So now all I have to do is make sure I have an answer to Trespasser for the time being. I think I am just going to go ahead and play a Trespasser here. Let's go ahead and eat the corn dog out of their graveyard. Now if they swing, we can trade. Eh, not the worst thing to have happen. I think they want to eat something out of their graveyard here, right? Pilfer, you got it. So there goes my go for the throat. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and minus Jace. Depending on what they take here, I have two C doubles. Founding the third path, you got it. Perfect. And now I've got the land that I'm looking for. That feels pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and just make them discard. Let's see what they do. I'll mill three, they mill three. They have to discard a card. I'll draw a card off this. They know every card in my hand. Obliterator, gone. All right, so let's plus on the corn dog here. Uh, what do we mill? They we mill, okay, so they got a corn dog again. Sure, that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just blow up the trespasser now. I could see double next turn, which would then allow me to copy any target, right? Eh, it's fine. I already have a C double, so I may as well just keep it and then have a, a go for the throw because then next turn I can make a double play. All right, let's see what they do on their turn. Let's see, how many cards is that in the graveyard for them? They're going to play target opponent of reels the hand. You know what? Let's go ahead and just make them ditch something with Cruelty of Gix here. We'll start from chapter one. All right, so we'll get rid of the Liliana. We'll let them play the Shieldred. They drew the Liliana anyways. That was pretty masterful, I'll admit. But if they plus, they lose Shieldred. Okay, that's fine with me then. Yeah, let's go tutoring. Let's see what I could find from my deck here. And I now have the mana to do two things, so that feels pretty darn good. One, two, three, four. I'll have the mana to make them sack. Get rid of the lily if I wanted to. Do I want to get rid of the lily? I guess that's not the worst thing, sure. All right, GG's, and they've had enough. This seems good. I'll keep it. I don't have any early interaction, though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Oh, but I do have mill, which is like early interaction. Um, oh, baby, yeah. All right, pass. Drew a Dark Slick Shores here, which is actually amazing for my mana base. Trespasser, yeah, go for it. Can't stop that. So now we try to draw something off their deck. Does that answer anything from them? I mean, this has Kicker, so I think I can use the Kicker half of Terra Sunder. 
Oh, perfect. I don't even have to like worry about it anymore. I could just blow this uh, this thing up with a uh, void rent. I don't have to pay the uh, the ward. Decline. I would pay for the ward if it if I had like a Tarissian Mindbreaker or something in my hand. Lily. I don't think I'm gonna keep the counter spell. The counter spell doesn't do much of anything right now. Or maybe I'll get rid of the creature. Maybe I let this pass, right? I just let this go. See what they do on their turn, hold up counter magic. Maybe even a C double and like bin the Jace. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't have anything better to do. I'm gonna bin the Jace and I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let them make me discard. So once they grind themselves down, I'm also able to use, maybe I keep the Jace, bin the invasion of Amonkhet. Nah, it's fine, go for it. Soren, yeah, see that's something I will counter. Oh, I drew another Jace anyways. Let's go ahead and kick her this, get rid of the Lily. So it looks like they're gonna invoke Despair Me. Bank Buster, that's not a bad thing for them at all. That's not a bad one for them at all. I kinda wanna, okay, they're showing Jund, right? So what does that mean for us here? We gotta juice them of another card. So I will. Let's see what they ditch. Invoke Despair as expected from this opponent. Tear asunder, you got it. All right, so I'm gonna hold up two mana here, see if that makes them respect what I have potentially. Graveyard Trespasser, not great, I'll be honest with you. That's pretty good, they'll eat my invoke here. They'll get the, or my uh, my Siphon Insight. Then they'll get to attack. Oh, they're gonna eat both my creatures. Well, I'm hoping to go C double here. How many spells, they have eight, so I can actually copy whatever they do this turn. Choose an opponent, if copy spell, create a token that's a copy of target creature. So I'll have to discard, but that's fine. And then uh, that should at least a lot. Oh my God, I'll get to copy that. I'm gonna want them to hit me. Now let's see what I can do. I want them to tap out fully because they don't have anything in their graveyard, right? That I can efficiently get rid of. I don't want them to use that Lily on me either. So yeah, they could take the two spells I've got. I'll take four. If they use the Lily on me, that's gonna feel bad. Perfect. Let's make me discard, I assume. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I only, it's a spell. I should have copied that. Oh, well. And now I'll eat something from their graveyard. I'll just eat their two big creatures, I guess. And now I get to swing in, attack the Lily. Uh, submit zero, that's fine. Play another graveyard glutton. Uh, what creatures do I have? Do I have any? No, so I'll submit zero. I'll sit back and pass again. Now I at least get to, I'm gonna just take the damage from Graveyard Glutton and swing back on them. If I get to get rid of an invasion of Amonkhet though, I do get a 4-4 copy of something, right? Sure, that's not good. Becomes, except it's a, it's a copy of an creature card in a graveyard. They have nothing in their graveyard. It's fine, I'll just take the six for now until I have something better to do. So I'm gonna play Jace here. I'm gonna try to draw a card. Now I get to sit back, hopefully, assuming they don't have another Gix's command. I need them to draw like really bad here. See, had I had like hit anything in their graveyard, I would have gladly done some shenanigans there, but I would have swung into in Invasion of Amonkhet, get rid of it, copy whatever is in their graveyard, and it would be a 4-4 zombie version. Shieldred pretty much wins them the game here, unfortunately. So I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm outright dead, because let me draw. I don't draw more than one, right? So I'm going to go down to two. If I can find peril, uh, Path of Peril, I'm okay. I drew a land. GG's. This is as good as we can get when it comes to milling. Let me mill a Tarissian Mindbreaker. That's what I need, and then we can get a real wild mill here. Also, by the way, this deck is in no means to be good, clearly. <laughs> we have kind of gotten bodied every step of the way. All right. Not useful here at all, Un until they get a bunch of their tokens, I guess. Oh, I guess they do have ways to make it useful, so sure. I'm gonna play Realm Breaker right now and pass. So let's let's try to just mill as much of their lands as I can. Holding up counter magic, yada yada yada. They'll get to swing in, that makes sense. I get to keep what is hopefully a, a land. I'm assuming they're filled with like like little lands, so why not? Pass. There you go, buddy. Maybe they don't do anything? Depending on what they play, I can copy it as well. If I copy that, does that mean anything? Nah, it's probably not worth it. 
It's probably not worth it. I do need to find a land here, though. All right, we hit the land. It doesn't enter play, uh, but I like untapped, unfortunately. But I did mill them three. I got a land off that. I'm hoping I could siphon insight them a little bit more. Next turn, that means I get to go ahead and path the peril for everything. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, eventually I've got to hit one of their good threats, right? They'll keep drawing cards. But that's like them milling themselves here. They'll draw two even. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I let them go to their, their end step here. It'll trigger. They'll get their two draws. Sanctuary Warden. Interesting. Okay. The other card is spent to the bottom, right? Other on the bottom. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So it's not back on top in any weird way. Uh, I'm going to just actually play this Invasion of Amonkhet. We got a reader from Format All-Star Invasion of Amonkhet. All right, so I milled a bunch of lands. You're welcome. Now I get to hold up Siphon Insight and or Realm uh, Realm Breaker here. Hoping I get some kind of value. What, what are they holding in hand that gives them the ability to respond here that can blow up an invasion? They probably have like Destroy Evil or something like that, right? That's bad. Yeah, I guess. Sure, here you go. I can't do anything about it. Next turn I do have to sweep, but I only spent three mana to do so, I guess. Let me think here. I go 6-7. If I hit a land, I go to 7. I go to 8. Does that change my play here? It allows me to sweep the board, potentially copy something else. But I, I'm going to have three, six, seven anyways, so I could do what I wanted to do. So maybe it's better to go find something. All right, so that is flying, thankfully. I'm going to just destroy all their little dinky creatures on the ground right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and pass. So they do have seven cards, but they need eight in the yard. Hmm. So I only get one thing. I don't get to copy a spell and do the other mode. I only get one. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. They're gonna draw again? I mean, I want them to think I have a Wandering Emperor because they don't know anything about my, like, what I've exiled. All right, I guess I'll copy their creature. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just get a counter to draw a card off this. Then I get to attack, right? They don't have anything in their graveyard. I don't, I, oh, I guess they have their farm hand or a spirited companion. Sure, that's not the worst thing. I think I'm gonna take the six just so that I can make sure, uh, decline. So now I'm gonna try to block. I get a round of faded absence or whatever it is. Get to remove a shield counter here. They might have Igonjo. Destroy evil, check. That breaks both shield counters on creatures. Got it. Lay arms. You got it. That was unfortunate, but that's the way the, the cookie crumbles, I guess. Four, eight. They have so many lay claims that I think it's going to feel bad if I try to do anything. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass. Yeah, I'll take a land. I'll play a land. How much mana do I have up after that? That's three, six. Okay, so I can perfectly just copy Sanctuar Sanctuary Warden again. I don't think they're going to cast anything before I, I, you know, before going to combat here. I guess they, I don't think they have to. Go for it. I'll copy their Sanctuary Warden. Then I'm going to try to block the Sanctuary Warden here. Let's remove a counter so I get an additional body. That feels real good. That's another Wandering Emperor. You got it. I mean, if I, if I don't find an answer here, I'm, I'm in trouble. Like, what I'm hoping to do is get rid of the Sanctuary Warden. But I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do otherwise. Like I get rid of the Sanctuary Warden. They just blow this up. I can't get rid of the invasion of Amonkhet. I assume they have to have another answer. I can draw a Path of Peril. That'd be huge. I drew nothing. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to kill the 7-7 seven, seven Flyer that I can't deal with normally. I'm going to try to go to combat. They clearly have something they can do. No way does this connect. What? All right, as a copy of any creature in a graveyard. So I want that to be Sanctuary Warden. Play a land. I guess let's see what they do. I'm going to try to shrink one of their creatures. I've got the mana to shrink the knight, which is probably what they're going to swing with. Then let's go ahead and eat a creature out of the yard. Let's eat that, that angel, that warden. So now we force them to board wipe. This is good enough to force a board wipe from this opponent. Eternal Wanderer. That's so good. I think I'm going to get the 1-1. One, one. All right. Seems fair. Under its owner's control at the beginning of that player's next end step. So I cannot play this Phyrexian Vindicator or else I will be very sad. So let me think here. This is 12-18, right? That's 18 cards at our opponent here. I have an opportunity here to deal a total of... Uh, or 
I only need to mill 25 cards. See what I can find. Like, there's no way I'm keeping Jace, right? Like, Jace is going bye-bye. Let's play Jace. What can I mill? What can I get from your graveyard here? I want to get rid of your Vindicator. Sure, why not? So I can plus here. That's another three. I can mill a total of 18. They're down to four. Is that even worth it right now? I can shrink this little token. They have to have an answer. If they, how many ossifications is that? One. I drew another land. That's kind of unreal. Like, drawing a land here really sucks. Like, that, it really sucks. I, I needed to it for it to literally not be that, but can't really change that, so. So they blink it, they kill it. They're gonna make a double striker. They can crew here. I really needed to draw a sweeper. The problem here is I wanted very much so to just let it be that I could just, uh, just mill them eight, like 18 or something like that. Sure, they're going farmhand. You got it. Like, they have to have an answer. They probably have, like, an ossification or something like that. And if not, they have an answer to my trespasser. Sure. You've got so many threats at your disposal right now. You are A-OK. -okay. Then here comes the ossification. I drew another land. That is really unfortunate. Uh, sure. Take a roadside thingy-mabobber. Let's mill them three more. Put them down to ten, exactly at 20 cards here. That's two ossifications and a path of peril. Oh my God, there it is. That's what the home team needed. If they don't have a way to keep all their stuff indestructible here, they're they're super dead. We crowd surf the Karn. Thank you for drawing a bunch of cards. We crowd surf the Karn again. Thank you very much. <laughs> the early game sweeper here is nice. I think I'm gonna try it out. All right, let's go ahead and play this pass. Black source, so are they mono black aggro? They're gonna discard a creature or artifact. They can't ditch my planeswalker. It is exiled, unfortunately, so that's really good. Oh man! Opponents pre-boarded for my nonsense. Well, let's see what they do. Or what their deck does. Alright, so they have a silly amount of removal. They're playing corrupt, so I they are they are just mono black. Sweet. What's their player? Trespasser or something? And create a zombie token. Sure. I'll ditch. Cut down. See what the opponent says here this turn. So they've chosen to draw a card. They found l the land they've needed. Well, I'm going to blow up the, uh, the little bank buster now. They have removal in hand is what they're telling me, by the way. I'm gonna just take this time to go ahead and just minus to draw some cards off this opponent. Because if they attack, they can go ahead and kill off their zombie. I don't have to deal with it. Next turn, it's got Decayed. We milled Shieldred, Path of Peril. Really would like to keep Realm Breaker here. Shieldred's Edict, you got it. Realm Breaker would at least help me get some lands. I don't know, they might invoke to spare me though. Yup, there, that's like a mill three. There it is. All right, so that's down to 11 for us. I don't think we're gonna make it out of this one if we draw a land. I do think we'll be okay if we find ourselves playing a C-double. This thing keeps taking my artifacts. If I had one more land, I would have been fine, but yeah, that's that's not the case. So they now know that I can copy any creature they play and any spell they've got. And if they pass, I guess that's a good thing. Gives me more time to like build up some stuff. They seem to be just like discard nonsense. I don't hate that at all. Sure, I guess we'll both just play this game. Except I'm gonna die a lot sooner, but I need it. I wanna do something as opposed to just sitting here. I just gotta mill them out, faster. Okay. Step one, not draw a bunch of lands. They really are just all discard spells. That's hilarious. Okay, they're all discard spells and just like Shieldreds and stuff like that. Well, hopefully they don't play Shieldred here. Invoke Despair, yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. You got me. If they, if they didn't have the information on my hand, I would have held the C double. But you know everything from here on out that they're playing is just like bait, right? Like they're... Um, let's see what I can draw off this. Um, let's draw more cards. Karn Silex is nice. If I had a turn. But I don't. 
That's exactly enough to kill us here. Oh, wait. They chose not to kill me. That's very nice of them. All right. Very nice of them. Thank you for sparing my life. Now, can I just politely find literally anything to do? Please be a spell of... Oh, my God. A land. All right. I'm just going to make it very obvious that I have nothing. They can pretty much kill me at any point here. They play Shialdred, they crew, and then they animate Mishra's factory, and I'm dead. Or they draw another Invoke Despair. I guess that works too. One, two. That's only two. Yeah, I'm very, very much so not in a good place here. Maybe I just blow up everything two or less. Yeah, never mind. I have to blow it up as three. I, I, I'm drawing so many lands right now. I have ten lands left in my deck, though. So if I live long enough... I should be okay. I'm gonna put it in full control mode, make him think I have a C double or something like that. All right, <laughs> I could just die to this card, which is very likely. GG's, GG's, yeah. Void Ren is not good. It actually just has to be cut down. I have nothing else that I can do. Ah, uh, well, you know, let me see. What's the draw here? I have three, zero, four, one. You know what? Why not? I got nothing better to do. Let's try to draw some cards. Maybe I just ditch the Realm Breaker here, because they're at 18 cards now. There's nothing I could do that would save me. I go three, it costs me two. I play this for four, it like it comes down on five, I only mill 15. That's quite unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. They have 25 cards in the graveyard though, I get to draw three here. That feels pretty nice. I eat a card, I go up to two, they remove this, I get back a Mishra's Foundry anyways, they have nothing but removal. Yeah, good game. Drew a Tarissian Mindbreaker like a pro, like a pro. Keep this hand, actually? Maybe? I don't know. I hope it's not Soldiers. Or even- oh god, it's worse, it's Mono Red. This is our app- this- so the only matchup that's worse than Soldiers is Mono Red. Because at least like a Sweeper, I can like maybe get back in against Soldiers. Mono Red doesn't care about your Sweepers, so that's kind of bad. Yep, you got it. All you, opponent. Unfortunately. Let's play some bodies. I gotta keep up my mana for when they play the Raiju. That card is terrifying. I don't know if I'm gonna give them value here because they're just gonna try to shock, right? Or they just might have a lightning strike. That also works. My God, that's so good. Okay, yeah. Woo, they're cooking me alive right now. All right, yeah. Sweeper? Nope. Let's get rid of Squee while we can. Then let's hope they don't have a Raiju here. Because they have the Raiju. Uh, land Raiju is like... Oh, okay, good. I was like, there's no way they got that good of a curve, right? All right, well, so they can't discard anything, right? So they shock, they have to discard. They don't have anything to discard. Sweet. Mechanize production. Uh, what is that, a bird? Oh, they can play that? That's not good. Yeah, we're going to play Shieldred. Gives me something to do. Enters the battle for each opponent, sacrifices a non-token creature. You love to see it. Yeah, we hang back for a little bit here. Just in case they try to get a little funny. Try to move some stuff around, you know. I don't like that. No mana for Raiju. We won? Oh my god. Oh no, it's a bad matchup. It's not only a bad matchup, it's the worst matchup. We are... We're not supposed to be playing against mono red players. They're supposed to be, like, getting bodied elsewhere. In all fairness, mono red is really good right now. In best of one. Ever since Meat Hook Massacre got banned, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's like, they needed it or something like that. I'm gonna just play the island because I assume they always have the ability to play two spells in one turn. Which means I get a potential cheaper's Urtai score. Or they could just play one three drop. Okay, that's a chicken. You got it. Chicken nugget online. I mean, do they have another way to deal damage here? Because I'd probably counter that just to get whatever value I could. And if they don't do anything, then I blow up the etchings of Kumano because it's pointless to kill either nugget, right? Because they'll, they'll just swing. They'll come back. The fun never ends. I guess now we take three and then in hopes like I get to sit around and wait and maybe hold up the mana to counter their Raiju or something like that or whatever big three drop they've got. They lightning strike me here. That's not the end of the world, right? Like I'll take the lightning strike to the dome. That puts me down to 14. I do have the hard counter, so I wish I could just tap out for this Realm Breaker, but I think I'm going to lose. Mill needs a better way to have bodies like, like at least Hedron Crab or uh, whatever Ruin Crab could block or draw the answers out or the removal out from the opponent. Three to my face. 
Lightning Strike. So they did have the Lightning Strike. Okay. We'll go ahead and pass. Can't tap out here. They're closing in on four mana. Uh, I, I, I don't like that. Yeah, there's the Raiju. Down to one card left. If I can draw, like, maybe whatever Vamanket and not mill a bunch of birds, that'd be nice. I think I have to pass here. I think we just tuck the big bird. The big nugget goes back into the hand. Yeah. That was a draw that I desperately needed. That was a draw that I desperately needed. Having four Path of Perils, it is nice to know that I actually draw, drew it, but they haven't had to play anything, by the way. Down to four. Comfy. I have no life gain in this matchup. You'll love to see it. Am I just going to die to this? Kill me. The answer is currently no. I'm going to have to do this so I can get rid of the big man. Don't have a burn spell? Oh. Well, that puts me at one. Oh god, do they have an end of festivities in hand? Is that what's going on here? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Like, like I, I have the only life gain I have is Trespass and I haven't drawn it. Shivin Devastator. Oh, baby. Nice. GG's. Uh, I think I'll try this. At least we have some way to, like, eat some cards in the graveyard, gain a little bit of life. I like that. We have Dark Slick, so our mana base is actually looking pretty good here. We just need to draw like some kind of interaction in case they're aggro, and it looks like they may not be. Can I get some cheesy wins with C double? That's the goal. Uh, let's try to resolve Jace now. By resolving Jace, I get to actually just shut down Ledger Shredder for a few turns, despite how many times they may loot here or connive. Assuming I get to keep my Jace, of course. Yo, are they... Wait, are they actually... No way. I think I want to keep the land. I don't know. This is this is a tough one. I want to play C double, right? Because if I play C double, I get a copy of whatever they're doing. You know what? I'm going to politely just pass. I think this is a pass turn, right? I'll throw away another Realm Breaker. That's fine. They've got how much mana there? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat a creature in their graveyard now. Let's get rid of Kyari or carry Wh whatever it is. You know what I meant. Ledger Shredder is currently shrunken, so I, it won't be swinging into Invasion of Amonkhet. What are they doing? Mirror Hall Mimic. Copying my own Graveyard Trespasser. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So that means they will always only have a 3-mana side, which I love to see. Uh, let's play a land. I can flip, whereas my opponent can't, so I'll just pass. I think that's the upside here. I get to flip. They just stay a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I could copy that spell if I wanted to, and I don't, so yeah. Let's go ahead and just counter that. Let's really make sure the opponent works for it here. All right, and I'll take it. That was absolutely hilariously bad. <laughs> but my god, we actually got some wins with this. I don't know if we fully got to mill anyone out. It seems like we just won off the sheer value of our, our like, invokes and, and, like, removal here and there. But maybe there's actually something to Realm Breaker the Invasion Tree in some kind of, like, control deck that can hopefully wither uh, our opponent's library down and just close out with Jace. Because every, every mill threat that just keeps getting put into the meta, Jace just gets even better, right, as a, a control win condition. I'm excited to see what happens with mill. Obviously, it's not there yet, but is it fun? Sure is. Sure is. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one. Peace.